Hey guys, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you, well, how to use Redstone. Now, this is actually going to be a small little series I'm going to be doing just so that uh, people will be able to, well, make their own Redstone machines, just like the ones I have behind me. Some of them aren't what I wanted, but they are a, progr uh, they are a progression of what I have done so first things first get yourself a super flat world put it in creative add cheats because sometimes you might just want to use a command block like I have here yeah different uh, reasons to have different things so let's just uh, with this yeah my lock converter but yeah that's beside the point so, what we got here is a uh, line of dust that's 16 long. Now, dust is probably one of the most important things in redstone. If you can't figure out how to work with dust, you're going to have trouble with everything else. So, get good with the dust. Know every little thing. Because how far can uh, dust travel? Well, how far can uh, you place redstone? As far as you want, doesn't matter. But the bigger, uh, but the question, oh, when someone says place fifteen, uh, place fourteen dust, then then do this. It's because let me show you. I'll just flip this lever. Based on your power source, you can actually get it to go to a certain distance. Levers produce a signal strength of fifteen, so this is signal strength one right here, and here's zero. And you can actually even flip multiples, and here's still zero. Here's zero, because it only every piece of dust will reduce the signal strength by one. But that's based around your power source, not the dust. All you need to know is the dust. Every piece of dust you have will reduce the signal strength by one for every block it moves. Now... There's a couple little things we have. We have what's called the dot, which, well, the well, easiest way to explain the dot is it just powers the block that it's on, and spending, uh, depending on what, re uh, and anything that is uh, anything, anything that's touching this block specifically. That's a redstone component, like a redstone lamp or whatever. Oh, redstone lamp, pistons, droppers. The observer will not be affected by this. You need a different block, specifically. And any block that's touching the dust itself. If you give it power. How you give it power is up to you. <laughs> but it has to look like this to affect... Not there, 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 there. It has to have, it has to be the dot to affect all of these blocks around it, including the one that's down there. <laughs> so, that, that that's basic redstone for those that actually understand redstone. Now, what we have here is a line. Now, unlike the dot, the line, except for uh, certain redstone components, cannot power blocks like that. These blocks here, the only ones that will be able to be affected by the ones there are pistons. Those are the only redstone components that, with it like this, Will only be will be affected, but that is a bedrock thing, not a Java thing. So I have to put that out. But the blocks here on the side that the dust is running on will be powered, and the blocks underneath, if it's a redstone component, will be powered as in repeat uh, as in redstone lamps, droppers, hoppers, dispensers. Sticky pistons and regular pistons. And also note blocks, 
but there's no point in having a note block underneath there because you won't be able to hear it. Then we have what's called climbing, uh, what I call climbing redstone. Pretty much, you yeah, move it up one block. This just shows that it was climbing, uh, that it has moved up the block and it is connected. So we can actually have it power. Uh, so we can create uh, redstone staircases this way. Just loop it around until we get up to the height we want. Then we have what's called redstone cutoff. You have two lines that are close together that if you don't put a solid block on top of one because we don't want them to touch, we're going to cut the redstone block. Cut the redstone. You can't you can use any solid block you want, but a certain ones. <laughs> so any block that will prevent redstone from crossing. And you can easily tell by coming down here looking and seeing that there is no redstone climbing up. So that's uh, uh, this part is I use this a lot. A lot of YouTubers and redstoners do use the redstone cut off a lot. We also use uh, some of us also use uh, signal strength based devices and I and I do use signal strength to determine certain things. Typically, when signal strength is used, it's for item sorters. Typically. But now, we got uh, three things here. We have uh, redstone towers. Redstone dust towers. Quick, easy way to get redstone to climb up. Or down, depending on which one you use. Now, all three of these have one, uh, have one thing. They're transparent blocks. So, the block that they're on is not powered they will not be it will not be powered there is no way for that to be powered so you can't uh, so these are really only used with certain things that are attached to them so if you have a direct line like this one you can attach an observer you can attach a uh, dropper to it and it'll spit out so that's what this is with glass, and that's what all three of these are. With glass, as you can see, we've got the lines going up. So if I flip the lever, it goes all the way to the top. Now if I turn it off and flip it on again, it actually goes all the way down. So glass will transport the dust up and down too wide. So if you need to get, uh, if you need to have something just to transport dust down easily. You don't have to circle it around. You can just staircase it down using glass. And you also can see the dust from the bottom, which actually adds uh, just makes it a cool effect. Now, glass and uh, glowstone and slabs have the same effect. They can take signals up. So let's kill these, but unlike glass, they can't send the signal down. So we utilize glowstone or slabs, typically slabs because it's so much easier to obtain in survival, to control how much the signal, uh, if the signal will go down or not. Very useful. Sometimes a little better than glass, but glass is a solid block. I prefer slabs anyways because I would, if I'm going to go down, I'm going to use other methods. But that's just me. <laughs> so, quick review. Dust, uh, the, uh, the power the dust gives off is zero. It will never be powered. But you need a power source like a lever, button, glowstone block, and uh, no, glowstone redstone block. Anything that will produce power. It connects to each other, and every block it moves on the horizontal, which is this is on your X and Z or X and Z for for some of you guys. 
this is just a one move. So if I power this, this is signal strength 15. This is signal strength 14. Here, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. And that's based around the power output that the, uh, your input device gives. And there is ways to adjust that, which is based around signal strength. Then you have, uh, then every block it moves, it will reduce by one. There's ways to boost it, yes, but that's different components, and that's going to be in the next video for another set of components. Where the redstone will be powered at based on what type of uh, powering you're using. If you're using a line or if you're using a dot, how to make redstone climb, how to prevent redstone dust from interacting with each other. How to make a redstone uh, tower that is both up and down and one that is strictly up. So, hope this video is informational for you guys. And I actually plan on making a lot more of these till we can get through every single redstone component in the game. Probably do one video at a time with each component and then start working on how to merging different components. If you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and actually tells people, hey, check this out. It actually is more of a trending thing. And if you want to support me, subscribe or join my Patreon. Link's in the description. You can join me on Discord where I actually occasionally will ask, hey, I, need, I have some ideas. What do you guys want to see? If one person says it after a certain time frame, I'm going to go with that one person. Thank you, Jonathan, because uh, last night I did do the, hey, what should we do? You're the only one that responded, so this video is because of you. <laughs> and I actually interact with everybody that I can on my Discord. Link will also be in the description. But you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.